Hello everyone and welcome to Rodan Man's Reviews. So today we're going to take a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Superman. So DC Multiverse Superman. So I uh, actually picked Superman up in a local um, store. It was actually a local Target. So I was very happy that I found him. He was actually the last one that was there. So, so taking a quick look at him here. So he comes in this really cool, as you can see, this cool collector's box you know it's got a, a picture of soup on the back you know a collect them all thing with the pictures of the other other folks on the back um <clears throat> as far as and then he also has this he comes with this collector card much like the batman one that i reviewed recently so we get a cool kind of very thick collector card uh, taking a look at Superman himself <clears throat> excuse me so he's as you can see I've got him in a pose here he's got this this stand that he comes with a little you know stand where you can pose him pose him like he's flying etc there's also if you want to detach this part there's also a part right here with a peg hole if you just want to stand him up on it as far as Superman himself um, <clears throat> articulation obviously is very much the same as Batman uh, you know the arms go out in a 90 degree angle he's got the rotation at the bicep um, you know he's got the rotation at both wrists so there's that he's got an ab crunch goes back a little bit goes forward you know his legs have the double the double joint you know, feet feet point down, feet point down, and then also you know he's got he's got the uh, they got the little bend right here at the foot where it can go up either foot or the feet themselves can go up, but then he's also got the bend at the foot where they go really almost kind of way too far back will look like elf shoes so um, so you know he's got that <clears throat> uh, I like these figures uh, I know I'd mentioned before in the Batman video uh, the McFarlane toys have been kind of hit or miss throughout the years I still feel kind of the same some of the things I bought in the past have not um, have not held up too well have not stood the test of time very well I know there's I've seen mixed reviews with regards to these figures. Some people really like them. Some people don't care for them. I actually like the DC figures that they've done so far, um, or at least the ones I've bought so far. Um, I haven't gotten any of the ones yet besides uh, Batman and Superman, but I do intend on checking the other ones out as well as I find them. Uh, I'd really like to get the Nightwing one. I think he looks pretty cool. Um, as far as other accessories be besides the uh, the stand... You know, his peg hole stand here. He does come with a couple of extra hands. So we've got we've got a fist for his left hand. We've got this kind of open hand for his right hand. And then we've got an extra left hand that's open. And an extra right hand that's, you know, semi-closed. Almost looks like he can... Like he can hold a gun or something like that. You know, why Superman would be holding a gun, I don't know. But um, <clears throat> but there's that. You know, um, you can pop these off. Go right off. And go on. So now he's got both of the... He's got the fist hand here. He's got the kind of semi-closed, can grasp stuff hand. Uh, the cape... Um, as far as the, the paint apps themselves and the cape, you know, the cape is plastic. Um, it's kind of got this, you know, almost like windblown looking effect to it where it's, you know, it's kind of folded under here. Um, it's not cloth. I don't have a problem with that. It still looks pretty good otherwise, you know. Um, <clears throat> the, um, the paint itself looks really good. I don't see any areas where we've got any kind of, try and get him up there. Oh, we've got any kind of bleed. I really like the S. 
the shininess of the, the red emblem for the S here looks really good against that yellow background. You know, his belt looks great. No problems there. You know, no problems as far as, you know, he's got the the red, you know, the red Speedos here. Um, no problems there. No, no, no issues as far as the paint apps. Um, the face itself doesn't look like, you know, any particular actor. I don't think they were trying to model that after, you know, anybody in particular, just a general, more of a comics version of Superman. So, yeah. Overall, a really cool figure. Um, I'm, I'm digging it, you know. Um, you know, I'll, time will tell whether I like the, uh, the other ones as much as I like uh, Superman and Batman. To be honest with you, when I first saw these, that they were available online, I was, I, I, I actually liked the Superman more than I liked the, the Batman when I first saw them, but then when I bought them, <clears throat> excuse me, I kind of, I kind of really like the, kind of really like the, the Batman a little more than the Superman. Not that there's anything wrong with the Superman, he's a great figure. If you're a fan of Superman, if you're a fan of, of DC Comics, you know, definitely pick him up. Um, like I say, he's a, he's a cool figure. And I think that, again, you know, um, McFarlane Comics has come a long way in, uh, in, in getting these, uh, in getting things right. Um, it's, it's, you know, so yeah. So DC Comics, uh, Multiverse, Superman um, from McFarlane Toys, um, definitely a winner. So if you get a chance to pick them up, definitely do so. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, please comment. Please subscribe, and I will see everyone next video.